Yuna is standing in front of the mirror getting ready as she is so happy because today is her sister wedding. Yuna and her sister are on good terms. They are four people in her family, her mom, dad, her sister, Emmy, and this family is you can describe as a perfect family. Her mom entered in the room and panicked. Where is Emmy? In her room, getting ready, why? She is not in her room. Yun looked at her mom who is panicking so badly, seeing her frightened face, Yun panicked too. Yun entered in her sister's room followed by her mother. She has to be there where else she could go. Yun saw her sister wedding dress on the bed. She examined the room until the letter caught her attention which is placed with her wedding dress. Yun hesitantly reached there grabbing the letter. She is feeling something, something like when danger is knocking on your door. The panic rises in her when she reads the first word loudly. By the time you are reading this letter, I would be far from you guys. I don't want to live like this, but I told you I was not ready for this marriage. I told you I have a boyfriend, but you said it will be good for me. I accepted this marriage because I don't want to disappoint you. Until I found out that I am pregnant. I just get to know about it two days ago, so I couldn't think of anything and took this step. I don't know how will you react. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm not a good daughter and a good sister, but I want to be a good mother. I told you and he is ready to take our responsibility. I'm sorry again, please forgive me. Her mom stands there crying and even her shaking when her dad entered in the room. What taking you so long? He paused when he looked at us, Yun eyes met with dad, he panicked. What happened to you two? Where is Amy? Yun handed the letter to her dad and he took it, still confused but the confusion was replaced by heart, anger and guilty as he completely read the letter. How can she do this with us? His eyes start filling with tears as he said, everyone is waiting for the bride and now what are we gonna say them? No, no, he grabbed his temple harshly, he can't believe his daughter read this. Mr. and Mrs. Park enter in the room and look at us. What is happening here? Everyone is waiting for the bride. Mr. Kim, what's going on? Where is the bride? Mr. Kim handed the letter to Mr. Park with his shaky hands and their eyes widened as they read it. Is this some kind of a joke? Mr. Kim, were you forcing your daughter into this marriage? No, we are not. She was happy but the letters say otherwise. She said loudly and glared at them. Now what? You know we have a reputation out there. You know once this news get out of this room, it will be all over the internet the next day and it will cause damage to our company. What if we change the bride? He said in a low tone and everyone looked at him confused. What do you mean? No one knows how the bride looks like if we exchange her with you. Yun eyes widen and she look at her dad with shock. So her dead mom. Dad? Mr. Kim, you think it's a joke? She is a child. We don't have a choice and she is 20. And just get graduated. She is a responsible girl. She will not disappoint you. I think we have to do it for our reputation. Okay then. Get her ready. You have only 10 minutes. You already wasted our enough time. She said angrily and left the place. What are you doing? Why is no one asking me? Am I toy you can change it with anyone? Dad? Mr. Kim turns toward her daughter. Tears falling from his eyes as he looked guilty and helpless. Please daughter, I'm so sorry, but I don't have any choice. 
please, everyone going to question us about this. You can only save us. Dad, what about me? Do you think doing this I will live happily? You know how many dreams I have and I want to accomplish it. I look at mom and she hugged me. My tears are falling down my eyes. I can see my dreams crushing and I'm helpless in front of my dad. Please, princess. He pleaded helplessly. And the next thing I know, I was standing in front of the mirror wearing a wedding gown that my sister going to wear. They did my hair and I never imagined that I'm going to marry like this. I watched myself in the mirror and how helpless I am looking. Amy told me about her boyfriend. She shared everything. She was against it. Dad thought she is not in a serious relationship and doing it just to get away with her marriage. So he told me to convince her. Then he told her she would live happily. But I was so busy in the graduation days. I don't have time for anything. But she started to stay silent. She didn't tell me about her pregnancy. And she took this step. Mom and dad enter in the room and I look at them. I can't even hate them for what they are doing to me. You look beautiful, Yun. I didn't say anything, just stare at her as she hugged me. Dad come forward and place my hand on his. My little angel is all grown up now. Please forgive your dad. Tears were in his eyes as he hugged me and I'm in tears too. Let's go, everyone is waiting. You walk down the aisle with your father, his arms linked with yours as you walk together. As we reached near the stage, Maya left my hand and handed it to Jimin, who took it and helped me to come on stage. Now I'm face to face with him. I look at him and his cold gaze is piercing mine. I didn't react, just look at him with the same emotionless gaze. The press told us to take the wolves. Now you can kiss the bride. I froze as Jimin came forward towards me, placing his hand on my waist with the same cold gaze as he pulled me towards him. He leans forward directly looking into my eyes and takes my bottom lips in his and bite it so hard that I feel my blood on my tongue. Everyone starts cheering and he came towards my ear and whispered and my heart dropped. You made a big mistake, Kim Young. And leaned back, putting his hand in his pocket, I wiped my Lips controlling my tears and faked a smile at everyone. We bid goodbye to each other and left the venue. The car eyes were silent. I was looking outside of the car, still wearing my wedding dress. The car stopped in front of the big mansion and Jimin opened the car door without looking at me. He slammed the car door and I flinched as he walked from there, now walking inside. I heard Myself carrying my heavy dress, I walk towards the house as I open the door. I can hear Jimin yelling. What the hell is this? I agreed to marry because of you guys. I agreed to marry her daughter. I am agreed to marry her sister, not some child. She is not a child. She is 20 and graduated. So what mom? I am 26. There is a difference. Why are you standing there? Come here. I yelled as everyone looked at me. I walk towards them because from the way they speak, I don't think their parents are devil like him. I look at Jimin and he rolls his eyes. I stand beside him but is still keeping enough distance. Now look kids, what done is done. Now behave like a good couple. Good couple? I don't think this is going to work more than two days with this child. I think Jimin your mom is right. Try to get along with her at least for the reputation we have. You know why we did this. He rolls his eyes again and I stood there with my head hung low. We are going to our room. Now you two get yours and behave well. Ain't no way I'm going to share my room with her. Oh, for God's sake, will he stop calling? Will he stop talking? My patience is running out because of his nonsense. Now he's playing victim card as I married to him violently. Jimin asked said behave and go to your room. Jimin huffed and stomped his feet towards his room and slammed it hard. I know all this happened. It's none of your fault. But now you have to 
responsibilities. Be a good wife. Try to adjust in this relationship. I know you have dreams to achieve. But this happened. I want you to take the responsibilities of the house. I nod in my head. Mr. Park gave me a small smile and they both left. I took a deep breath which I was holding for so long and now I'm all alone standing here. I don't want to go to room. At least not now when there is an angry monster in the same room. I look around the house still holding this long dress which is annoying me. I then sat there on the sofa. After 30 minutes, I finally got the courage to go into the room. I walked towards the room where Jivan got first and knocked on it. No response. I knocked again lightly but no response. I touched the knob and entered in the room. There was Jivan on the bed sleeping. I sighed and thank God he is sleeping. I entered in the bathroom removing this annoying dress. Finally, I opened the tap of the shower and let the cold water touch my body. I think again about how I ended up like this in this situation. I was living my best life. I wanted to achieve my dreams. I wanted to do a job. All this happened. Until all this goes happened and now I have to act like a good wife. I roll my eyes at the thought. Is this my fault he is acting like this towards me? Is this my fault my sister ran away from her marriage and now I'm stuck with him? None of this is my fault. After taking a good shower, I came out of the bathroom in my pajamas. He's sleeping in his bed and of course I'm not sleeping there. So I picked up the pillow and blanket and moved towards the sofa. I set everything down and lay down drifting into sleep. I woke up when the sun rays directly fall on my face. I opened my eyes slowly and adjusted to the light. I looked at my surroundings and panicked. But my eyes fall on the figure and yesterday even played like a film. Oh nice, now I'm a married woman. Yesterday, exactly this time I was single and happy about my sister wedding, living my best life. And now I'm married without my happiness. I look at the clock and it's 7 am. It's not like I'm a morning person and I have routine of waking up early for the university. Since I graduated recently, so I woke up early. I moved from the couch and moved towards the bathroom, did my daily routine. As I come out, my gaze fell on Jimin, who was sleeping like an angel. Guess what? Angel until he woke up and opened his mouth. Then his face don't support his mouth. I scoffed and moved downward to make breakfast. And I was making breakfast, I heard food step. I turned around slowly. Good morning, you're already up. Yes, I thought of making breakfast. Alright, Jimin and his dad prefer homemade food and especially my hands. So I always make them breakfast and dinner. Let me make breakfast today, it's your first day. Oh auntie, I already made everything. Mrs. Park smiled and came forward and held my hands. You know I thought like every teenager these days, you would like, you would be like them. But you are proving me wrong. And from now on you can call me mom. I smiled back and nodded my head. Wow, what a beautiful view in the morning to see. We turned around only to see Mr. Park coming towards us and beside there was a Jimin. I looked at him and he looked at me with cold eyes. I look away, not wanting to ruin my mood in the morning. They all settled down in the seat and made surf breakfast. So Yun, you know we didn't get enough time to know about you, so tell us about yourself. It's not like I'm comfortable but his parents make the environment less awkward and more friendly. I recently graduated and I wanted to do a job. I told him and they listen, we talk about a lot of stuff. I can feel him and gaze on me but I chose to ignore it. He's gripping me out. Still, Jimin and Yoon don't talk with each other much, but when they do, they start bickering. He always gazes at her coldly and she ignores him because it looks like he will eat him alive. Currently, Yoon is sitting with his parents and sipping tea. Yoon makes her bonding with his parents so strong these days they never make her feel left out. We are talking about random things. Jimin came out of his room after taking a shower and like always, he ignored my presence completely. So, what is it you want to talk about, Dad? Mr. Park put his cup on the table and became serious as he looked at his son. Well, you remember your uncle, Jim. He called us a few days ago. He wanted to invite me and your mom. Since his son takes his company position, now he wants to spend time with us. And so me and your mom is going to Busan. For how long? For almost two weeks. But there is one more thing I want to talk about. And what is it? 
Mr. Park placed the paper on the table and looked at them. It's a small gift from us. Your new house, now you can start your new wing in there. Dad, no need of it. It's not like it's going to work anyway. Park Jamin, you need to work it out. Mr. Park glared at his son and Jamin clenched his fist. Since I'm leaving, so all the responsibilities is on your shoulder. I want you to be I want you to hire a secretary. No need, I can handle. You don't have to worry. I have the perfect person in my eyes for your secretary. Jimin whined, but his dad continued. Since you don't want to do a job and she spends her time alone in this house, I want her to be your secretary if she's angry. What do you say, daughter? You look at them speechless and he Jimin eyes widen. Dad, I'm not going to assault this dad. This is too much. Shut up, Jimin. This is for your best. Mr. Park shut his son and looked back at Yun who was still processing. So, daughter, what do you say? Dad, I'm happy, but I don't know anything about this. That's what I'm saying. She is just a child. She will ruin everything. Stop with this child nonsense. Jimin, where are your manners? Daughter, don't worry. You will learn from time to time. Jimin groaned and left from there, slamming the door. Poor door. Don't worry, daughter. I know you will make peace in his heart too. She smiled at them and she knows this is not going to happen anytime soon. When are you going to leave, mom and dad? Tomorrow morning. Let me, okay then, let me help you with the packings. Oh, you and you are so sweet. I'm happy that you become our daughter-in-law. After helping his parents, Yun came back in her room only to find Jimin with his laptop. Looks like he married to his laptop. She rolls her eyes and moved towards the bathroom. I sat there on the bed doing my office work and Yun entered in the room. I don't know, but I don't want her presence near me. And surprisingly, she don't talk to me well, so it's good, isn't it? After some time, she came out of the bathroom and started drying her hair. I was watching her every move and I didn't know I was staying at her long. When she was drying her hair, I looked back at my laptop as she turned around and sat on the sofa and started using her mobile. I scooped what else she can do. I don't want you as my secretary. She looked at me and pointed to herself. Are you talking to me? No, the wall's behind you. Of course I'm talking to you. Do you see anyone else here? You roll her eyes and start using her mobile again. Oh, this girl's attitude. I said something. It's not like I want to be your secretary. Your dad wants it. So why didn't you reject it? Why didn't you reject it? I did it, but since you possess my parents, I only see you. I said and her expression changed. Do it look like I have a choice? Do it look like I have a choice? You think since the day when everything is going according to my will? He said a little louder this time and glared at me. Wow, why don't you show this side of yours to my parents? They think you are an angel. But in reality... But in reality? What, huh? But in reality, you are a little... You can stand up angrily and throw her phone on the sofa. You better watch your mouth around me. I'm not like the girls who will listen to your bad mouth. Like an obedient girl. I will show you your place if you try to mess with me. She glared at me and moved out of the room, slamming it hardly. What the hell was that? I thought she would start crying at the corner, but she yelled at me. Hmm, interesting. Let's see, Kimmy. You are going to regret raising your voice at me. Angrily entered in the kitchen and drank the whole glass of water in one go. But do you think yourself? He is not talking to me since day one, and now today finally I have to open his mouth just to rain my mouth. Oh god, I didn't have to raise my voice, but if his parents hear it. But what I did was right, who gave him the permission to call me back. He is the bitch here, I don't know why he hates me so much. 